Let's learn about prisms and pyramids. In the case of prisms, prism is a polyhedron, is a polyhedron whose base and top surface, base and top surface are congruent a congruent polygon a congruent polygon it means that they are of exactly same size and shape in this figure you have cube right so in the case of cube we know that all the faces are squares all the faces are squares now if you take this base that is a square and this top surface that is also a square and these two squares are of same size therefore they are congruent polygon okay this is the first thing the second thing is that their lateral surfaces their lateral surfaces are parallelogram or parallelogram right so we know that squares squares are a ty are types of parallelograms a square is a type of parallelogram right square is a type of parallelogram now since a square is a type of parallelogram and here the first condition is getting satisfied that the top surface and the base are congruent polygon satisfied lateral surfaces that is this right side surface this front surface the back surface and the left side surface these surfaces should be the are which are lateral surfaces or faces faces should be parallelogram so these are all squares and squares are parallelograms therefore cube is a prism in this diagram you have a triangular face that is the bottom or the base and the upper face is also triangular face and these two faces are congruent right these are two congruent polygons because triangle is a polygon so first condition gets satisfied and then the next condition is that the lateral surfaces that is the faces the lateral faces should be parallelogram so here you have a parallelogram then on the right side of this side is a parallelogram and to the left of this face is a parallelogram so this image is also a figure is also of a prism now let's talk about pyramids in the case of pyramids your base your base can be any polygon it means it can have any number of sides okay the next thing is that this is the first thing the next thing is that from each side of the base like in this case you have a square okay from each side of the base you'll have a triangular face and all the triangular faces will meet at a common vertex they will meet at a common vertex that makes it a common vertex so if this is a square from this side you have a triangular face from this side you have a triangular face from back side you have a triangular face and to the left side you have a triangular face and all the triangular faces are, meet, are meeting at this vertex meet at this vertex that is a, the common vertex and that makes it a prism right so this is actually a square prism this is a square prism why square prism because its base is a square in this case your base is triangle is a triangular base that it's a triangular face and from each side of this triangle or this polygon you have triangles you have triangles that meet at this common vertex Therefore, this is a triangular prism, a pyramid. 
triangular pyramid. Right? In the same way, you can have rectangular pyramid. You can have rectangular pyramid. And same thing is here. Like this is a square prism. This is a square prism. This is a triangular prism. Okay. This is a triangular prism. So basically we name prism or pyramid using the base. Right? So this is the basic definition of prisms and pyramids.